Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be working on the Inselstadt Central Transport, kind of downtown hub area. And this will be what we're looking at right now, the elevated train station. And doesn't it look really, really good? I just love the whole, the glass look, because obviously this area is quite, quite pretty. I mean, you have all of the water, you have the city. You, you may see some hills in the background of, in the later later on once it's all filled in, but I think it just looks nice having all of this um, open openness. So is openness a word? Um, <laughs> so I've gone ahead already and just added in the train station because um, I needed to fiddle with where I wanted to put the road, and then I just added this one road just to con connect it up. Um, so yeah, this this train station actually has two different tracks. So for now, we're just going to be working on the left one, but in the future, the right side one could easily be used for kind of down this area, and then the one that goes out this way could be over here. So I think it's quite handy to have two different tracks. So like I said, this one is the one we're working on. And the reason why I used a elevated train line is because it's really easy just to get it over um, roads. So it's specifically in a downtown area, you don't want to have a train that's always interfering with the roads because it's going to cause so much congestion. So it's easier to, ju to just have it elevated and it's just, it's just so much easier. Like it's so easy and it looks, it looks good. I think so I've added it to the side of the road a little bit, just to kind of tuck it away. And, um, I'm just wondering, is this the entrance down in there? So I'm not sure. So we need to just go ahead and just fiddle with it a little bit. So last episode was a speed build and I said to you guys that I was going to do a little bit of a slower episode but a lot of you guys really don't like sl slower longer episodes. Like I thought like you guys would really be into it because you get to hear my thought process but no some of you guys really hate it. So <laughs> for you guys that hate it like come on I, I don't even do long videos that much so let's just chill a little bit okay. Um, I added in this little well this this little river canal thing was already here I just added in the side the sides to the other side. Um, so we what do I how do I want to lay this out? I'm thinking I want to put some buildings here, but kind of really low, um, and then this part here will be green space, and then maybe along here will be green space as well. So I just want to fill it in a little bit like that, and I don't know if it can connect. Do I even want it to connect right there? No, because it's going to... no. Actually, what other roads do we have that we can use that are a bit more, a bit more classy? We have this one here, which is that but I mean that doesn't look very fascinating does it we could go like that because that's the one that I used in the downtown area so yeah let's use that one make it a little bit more unique and so we need to add in a little pathway to connect up here and here and yes they can fit underneath so since I'm not really sure about where the exact entrance is like this could be an entrance right here so I'm gonna draw a road around the whole of the station so I'll do it on the other side as well so I'm using that road that looks like a pathway but it's actually still a road um, go like that I might have to drag it into place a little bit because it looks a little bit out of shape and okay and I guess it's good to have the traffic lights there because there's obviously going to be lots of people crossing so let's just drag that down a little bit so it kind of just blends in nicely like that and we can demolish this extra bit right there for now um, and then we'll do the same over here drag it down a little just to make it look more look more fit fitting um okay yep okay that's the end of the video guys thanks for watching <laughs> I'm kidding um okay I need to extend the what was the name of this thing a key I think we call it a key here which one was it, it wasn't that one it was wasn't it up in here this one okay Let's try to make it kind of straight, so similar to the other side. I guess that's kind of straight, I guess. And then let's just bring it around to just here for now, because I'm not sure where, where it's going to go from there. And I noticed this is on a little bit of a hill, so let's just raise that up a little bit. Okay. And I guess we do need to have a bus station as well. I did download a little bus hub thing which one is it this one 
But I don't, I don't know. It's like in terms of other public transport, I don't even know what I'm putting in this whole area. If I'm being honest, why don't we put the bus terminal right here? So at least it's really kind of incorporated into um, the the bus, uh, the the train station. Um, I think how they work is that they they go in from this side, then they'll kind of go um, up and around, then back out. So we might do one on either side, so there won't be any like, for example, coming along this way, there won't be any that have to like cross here. So we'll do one on the other side as well, but we might do it down here, so it's kind of just spread out a little bit, so it's not all like on top of each other. Um, so can we, can I put it there and then kind of drag it, drag it into place? without those beams kind of being in the way. Can't even see. I think that's I think that's okay. And then I might just drag that one into the corner a little bit. Okay, so they have power now and we shall add in water so they have water. Okay. So it should start functioning now. I wanted to get this done early because obviously when I start building this whole area there's going to be a huge influx of people so we need to have at least a train coming in. And I just want to add in some like very squarish, I don't know where this inspiration came from, but I just want to add in like very squarish looking buildings. So I want them to be kind of this height, I don't want it to be too high. Um, so, and I want to kind of overlay it a little bit, so there's, it, it's kind of like you get off the, the transport hub and then you're in like a little shopping district, so that is the idea. Um, and then what, what other buildings can we put in, can I put this one? Can I slip that one in there like that? Yes, I can. That is good. And I'm wondering if cars will park on this road right here. I'm just wondering if cars are going to walk up here because obviously, like, there's going to be a huge amount of people, but um, at least a lot of all of the people will have all this space to walk on, which is actually quite a lot. So we'll probably zone this as an actual park, but we'll make it for free. Okay, so I extended the road a little bit. I just added in this little road here, just so I could add in a few more shops, a little bit more compact through here like I guess like that I was wondering if I could do them on this side as well but I don't think I can what I might do for under the train area is I'll just put in the pathways and then just put in some vegetation because underneath it kind of looks a little feral so we don't want it to be too feral I was hoping I could slip some buildings underneath okay so I guess the the look that I wanted for this area is that it's like you have the kind of old traditional brick style buildings and then you have something really really modern so I think that's what I was trying to do um, okay, so I want to add in just a few more buildings just to fill in this area and then we shall move on And I just noticed that there's people actually coming out. So I'm just looking where they come out So they come out on this side part here and I guess you know what that's kind of okay because if they all come out on the main street here, it's going to cause a huge traffic jam because a lot of cars do come out So I guess it's okay if they come from this side part here um, I th think I'm just looking at where this car's going. Do you know where that car's going? I may or may not have to update this road here. We shall see in the future. 40 people coming into this area. Okay, well, that's a good start, I guess. Considering they're going to nowhere, like, I just realized I need to put in a pathway. So we might just do a really basic pathway. Um, I will probably change it in the future, but just for now, I'm just going to do this just so they have some kind of, at least, some actual connection to the downtown so if we just bring this over try to avoid okay of course it's going to go directly into the tree right there we'll just bring it straight over like that okay okay and just in case i do leave it let's just move the tree over a little like that using the move it mod okay and let's just raise it up a tiny little bit, maybe here and here. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna fill in these air, this area quickly and I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, that is this little shopping hub district done. I just wanted to bring it like, I didn't want this whole space to be just green space. I wanted to kind of bring it out a little bit to the shoreline, to the water, just because I feel like if I do all green space, it's gonna be so much because all of this is green space and then all of this is green space and there's probably gonna be a little bit of green space right there as well. So I just wanted to do something a little bit different. So these are all shops and so you see there's some seating areas and food trucks 
um, and then so there's more seating, seating, seating. So this will look like a nice little addition once the whole overall area is done. So let's get back to building. I think I think I mainly just want to fill in this whole area right now. Um, you can see a lot of people are using it now that we put in that pathway going straight across. So we might as well just keep this one pathway. Actually, I need to raise it up just a little bit, just to, like that. In terms of like the other types of transport I want to put in throughout the whole city, I think I don't really want to do too much. So there might be a tram, so, but, and I don't know if there's going to be a subway or a monorail because it's the city is not that dense. So I think we could probably put in, put in a tram, but subway, maybe not. Um, so in the future, we can easily add that in. But for now, I'm just going to leave it with the elevated train station and the bus stop. Okay guys, so this is the finished product for the park and I know it kind of looks really really basic but I think once we fill in all of the surrounding areas, this area is going to look really really interesting. So I think what I was thinking is that it's like open space so there's enough space for like festivals or markets or anything else like that so there's just a lot of open space and then I added in just these very interesting, I don't know, just gardens throughout kind of in no particular order so it's kind of a very unorganized but yet very organized area if that makes sense and I think it I, to me it fits in quite well with the with the look of the city so far and look at all the people so obviously the people can go straight down there it's really easy for them but they can also go to the shopping district so that's really going to probably probably encourage a lot of shopping in this in these areas especially with the bus stations as well so I might actually wrap up the video right here because I don't want to make it too long for this episode. So in the next episode, uh, we might continue on with this area here and just basically fill in this area or even maybe the whole island, who knows. But for the surrounding area, it's probably going to be a lot of buildings similar to these types that are kind of how many stories, like five or six stories high. So, and then maybe just a few random high, extra high buildings. So that is the idea for this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed to so leave a suggestion what to do in the surrounding areas a lot of you guys have made some really great comments for uh, What I should do up here, but I still don't know what I want to do just yet. So um, I might go ahead and make this an official park, but I'm not going to Charge them any money to get in so it's going to be a free park, but it should attract more people to the area and I don't know maybe I'll add in just a few like the restaurant maybe like over in the corner or like the little information booth or something like that just to make it look a little bit more filled in and we can see that a train has just arrived and don't you just love how clear it looks like you come in in the station oh wow that looks really good you come in and then you just have such like a great view if we can go down and see not really can't really see but you can kind of see such a really good view of the park and then the the little rivers and the and the green space and the building so I think it looks really good and it's I know you guys are not going to get it yet but this is going to look good trust me in the future so thank you guys for watching and I'll be back very soon with a, another video bye for now